Okay, so we're going to continue um, building this application and uh, one of the first things we're going to do is look at this while loop. Let me double check if this is working. Test, test, test. All right, good. Um, so we've got a while loop and we could copy and paste this um, multiple times here. We could, uh, sorry, we'll just copy all of this. Oh, we already did this, didn't we? <laughs> So this is our second challenge. This is our first challenge. And we could copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste. The problem with that is that's really inefficient. And it's, um, you know, copying and pasting code after code after code is a recipe for um, spaghetti code, which is what it's called. It's going to be, you know, very time consuming to upgrade and, and fix. So instead of doing the while loop over and over and over again, we're going to use a for loop and then a while loop. And then um, the for loop will look at the length of how many questions there are and it will then generate. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. First of all, remove your second challenge here, just like that. Remove the first challenge. The next step here is we are going to be adding in a for loop just above here. I'm just going to add in here for for our battles. Okay, so this is it here. Um, for I in range. And we're going to start at zero. And we're going to look at the length of challenges. Minus one. So the length minus one. And we do that all the time just to make sure it doesn't get over. And then we're going to iterate by by two index steps. So that's what it should look like. It's semicolon, of course. A colon, I mean, not semicolon. Um, we're then going to highlight all of this, highlight all of it, and then hit the tap key one time. Now we need to have a variable now called challenges, don't we? So we go up here, challenges is equal to, and we have square brackets now. Um, Question one, answer one. Question two, answer two, and so on. So it will generate question one and then answer one as well. And, and that will continue until it gets to the end of this length of challenges. So instead of um, having this code here, welcome to the first challenge, what is the uh, what is a function to generate an output? We instead um, put in print. We, so we remove all this green text. And we put in here challenges. Challenges. Let's run it. See, question one is generating um, print. And it's now on question two. So we've got our print question is generating. We now need our print answer to generate. Each answer needs to, of course, match with the actual question. And you can change this in here. I'm just leaving it as such. But I, you do need to change question one. So find a question one and the correct answer. And it's question two. The answer and question three as well. So right here, we need to get rid of this part here. And instead we write here challenges, square bracket I plus one. And now that will work as such. Um, so for I in range. So each I, each time this generates, it's going up by one. So zero is here, question one. It iterates one time, it's a question one, it iterates a second time, it's answer one. But because we're iterating by two indexes, it's going to question two next. So hopefully uh, that makes sense. And so we can now hit run, we can do A, B, C, D, and um, answer one. And it says, wow, you completed the first challenge. Answer two, and so on. So it's all working, which is great to see. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to fix our health. Our health is not working as we would want it to, and thus we need to fix that. So at the moment, when we hit, um, you know, 
if we hit zero health, um, I just run this again. So a a a a a a a. It says game over, but I can still keep writing. So all we need to do is we type in here um, main, and we will then be able to start again. So let's see how that works. <laughs> so it's sort of working, isn't it? Um, we then scroll up to main up to here and we go global health and we make health is equal to 100 so let's try that out now one two three so there we go it's working as expected if you want to see what your health is you're wrong and you lose here we can always just type in here comma health comma Let's see what it does. Excellent. So we can see what the health is. So it is all working as expected. Well done. Um, the next thing we will do is we'll just start implementing this, and that is gold. So we're going to be building a store so that when you complete challenges, you can go to the store and buy potions from the gold that you have. So here we go, we're going to add another variable up here called gold and um, we'll bring it in here to the main. Just add a comma and, and then and the next variable and then gold will equal 50. When they finish the, um, when they complete the challenge successfully, we'll let them go to the store here. So new function function to buy potions and other things from the store. Alright, so then we go def store global gold and then we print welcome to the store what would you like to buy? Oops. And there we go. Um, so welcome to the store. What would you like to buy? And then it goes to question two. We can always slow that down by import uh, wait, um, potion choice is equal to inputs. There you go. It's um, pretty much working now. So excellent. That is what um, we're going to finish with right now. And um, next time we'll properly implement the store and um, some other functionalities as well. Um, you're learning a lot of skills and, you know, some of the stuff may not make sense straight away. But the more you practice and the more you do this, um, the easier it does become. Thank you.